Nobody wins when the family feels. Y'all niggas wearing poo shites, the man, you know, the time you put that ski on. You about to let that gal go and took his little ass. What you think, Big Day? They about to let that gal go, right? No. No. Well, y'all heard what Big David said. She was going to tell. So that's why they got him. So our family member, Chris Norris, is missing. And also his girlfriend is missing um, as well. She's pregnant right now. We are, as a family, still believing that they are okay and they will be found safe. Birmingham tonight, six deaths in one day from two separate shootings. Birmingham police say that this is a historic day as the department investigates a quadruple homicide and a double homicide. When is it going to become our city? That is when you'll see change. As long as we keep individualizing ourselves, we're going to have the crime that we have in our city. We have to come together as one community like all these other safe suburban communities do. Earlier this evening, Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin posted on Facebook saying that his cousin was one of the six victims of gun violence today. Muriel, in the two times they've had to address the public today, Birmingham police calling these acts ridiculous and disgusting. Six people now dead in a matter of hours, six families now left in shambles. Hold on, family. I need to speak to the females for a sec, especially the ones that love the street cats. And I'm not knocking them. I used to be one. Baby girl, there's no rules in the streets. And I mean none. Don't get me wrong. It used to be something called morals. But even that's gone. You know, like the woman and the kids off limits. But that's gone. If you next to their target, you might be a victim. And that's why I'm starting off this video speaking to you. I don't care how many firearms somebody show you. They can't stop what they can't catch. Now, as we get back on track, fam, for the ones that's making some paper, you might say 20K not a lot. But imagine if you had nothing. You remember, that first 20K looked like a million dollars, especially at once, and you came from nothing. Birmingham, Alabama in shambles right now. In 24 hours, seven bodies dropped just 10 miles apart. But what crushed me and made me want to bring this to you guys' attention, out of those seven bodies, one was a woman who was pregnant. And if I'm not mistaken, five of the seven bodies were just innocent bystanders at the wrong place at the wrong time. And not to mention, one of them happens to be the cousin of the mayor. Now we're here to talk about all these situations. Send prayers and love to the ones that lost their life. Respects to their families. And most of all, we're here to speak for them. So before we go over this one, remember, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to jump right to it. Family, as we mentioned, we're going to Birmingham, Alabama. Thursday, February 15th, 2024, a couple was reported missing that was last seen on Valentine's Day. They was identified as Christian Norris and Angelia Webster, both 20 years old. Now, Christian was also a local rapper that went by Glock World Chris. I be still making me play from the way to the east. Walking the stone on Chris my glee. I ain't rubbing no nigga ride me. Now, Angelia was Chris' baby mother, as we mentioned. She was pregnant, and on day two of the search, the public was given more information. They was last seen on the 1500 block, a 20th place, located in the Angeli neighborhood. Now, Chris' family went to social media and voiced their concerns on pleading for anyone who had information to go to the local authorities. So our family member, Chris Norris, is missing. And also his girlfriend is missing um, as well. She's pregnant right now. We are, as a family, still believing that they are okay and they will be found safe. That's what our prayer is as a family. And if you guys can be saying a prayer with us, we would greatly appreciate it. Um, if you know of anybody that has heard about this case and they've been telling you information about it, can you please contact Detective Ayers? His information is on my page. Um, within the most recent post that I had. So if you have time, go and check out the most recent post. And if you have heard any information about Chris or her, please, 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 please contact the detective on that poster. His number is on there on the missing poster. 
again check the top of my page uh, check the top of my page for the last post and you should see the information in there about when they were last seen what kind of car they were in last what he had on army fatigues um, and just share um, if y'all can share the post that will be greatly appreciated as well and like I said we are praying for their their safe their being found safe and that's what we're believing for um, like I said I can't say this enough I feel like I'm repeating myself but I'm gonna keep repeating it if you know or have heard anything about the disappearance of Christopher Norris and his girlfriend please 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 contact the Birmingham Police Department and give them any information that you have um, there's also a number to a detective heirs that's on my page it's at the top of my page on the last recent post that I posted um, if you guys see the post can you please share it um, you know most of the time when things like this happen people are trying to look back at the people trying to see who they are um, what did they do were they in trouble were they not in trouble none of that really matters the only thing that matters right now is that they are found safe um, and that's what we are hoping and praying for if y'all can share it like I said go back to my page and share it if you can that's all I want to say it's been on my heart it's been on my mind all day ever since we found out I started praying immediately um, because it's not just one person this is three people it's him her and an unborn child that are missing right now and it is so important that if you guys have heard anything if your child has heard anything and they say something to you can you guys please call to the Birmingham Police Department and let them know everything that you know the only way that we find out what's happening with our people when they're coming up missing is if people are talking and we need you to talk we need you to tell us what's going on and who see who saw them last who talked to them last when was the last time someone had even spoken to him physically spoken with him on the phone um there are things that they need to know in order to find them so if you can please like i said Call the Birmingham Police Department and give them all the information that you know. And if you want to contact someone directly pertaining to this case, his name is Detective Ayers and his number is on the poster. You can go back to my page and you'll find the last post and his number is in there. Thank you guys so much for, for, um, for watching this. Uh, I just had to pull over for a minute. Well, like I said, if you can share this, just, just share it. We are, um, just our entire family is just trying to find them. Just help us. Later that day, it would be reported that four people would be shot up. Shortly before 3 p.m. in the 900 block of Center Street North, three people were killed at the scene. And a fourth victim died at UAB Hospital, according to Birmingham Police Department. And this story got so many unfortunate headlines. In that shooting, the victims was identified as Chance Ray, TJ Tate, Kevin McGee and Terrell Edwards. May they all rest in peace and love and condolences to their families. This is Chance Ray mother, Ms. Wilson, one of the four victims. She lost a son every year since 2021. Chance Ray, Nate Wilson, and Desmond Ray. May they all rest in peace and love and condolences to their families. Now, it was reported that the four men who lost their life, only one was the target and they lost their life and was starting to become a famous, dangerous neighborhood in Birmingham, Alabama, Smithfield, which is also a neighborhood that was highlighted in the daily rap beef in Birmingham, Alabama that we did just two months ago. I'll leave the link in the bio. Roughly an hour later, officers responded to the 4100 block of 10th Avenue where they located a white Taurus confirmed to have been driven by Christian Norris, 20 years old as we mentioned, and his girlfriend, Angelia Webster, that was last seen on Valentine's Day. Couple facts I wanna go over. It's been reported that he's been alleged to have run off on a plug allegedly per se right and that could mean a number of things 
But according to family members and friends close to Chris, he didn't do what they're accusing him of doing. Plus, he's known to have cash himself. And it seemed the girl and that baby was just a casualty of that war. May all three rest in peace and love and condolences to their families. But I want to point out the obvious before I give you guys the news clip. The car wasn't struck from the outside. So either they was driven there or they was placed there. And if someone was sloppy enough to do it while they was inside the car, it's not a far fetch that DNA may be in that car. And on top of that, it's been rumors of 20K. And if that's the case and how the job was completed, as we mentioned at the very beginning, fam, when you have nothing, 20K all together look like a million dollars. Today has been unreal, even for the Birmingham Police Department. A heavy day in Birmingham tonight, six deaths in one day from two separate shootings. Birmingham police say that this is a historic day as the department investigates a quadruple homicide and a double homicide. Police say the two shootings are not connected. CBS 42's Maddie McQueen joins us live from Birmingham Police Headquarters tonight. And Maddie, how are the officers feeling after dealing with all of this death and violence in one day? Sherry, Birmingham police say losing six people in one day takes its toll on officers and violence of this magnitude is something that the city isn't used to seeing. To sit here and lose six community members in one day is ridiculous. Around 245 Friday afternoon, police say there was a shooting on Center Street North near 9th Avenue West. Three men were found dead at the scene and a fourth victim died in surgery at UAB Hospital. Police say a neighborhood car wash was going on at the time, but it's still unknown what led to the shooting. BPD says it's still looking for suspects and is using the real time crime center to help in the investigation. No one is in custody and police are asking the community to step up and help. When is it going to become our city? That is when you'll see change. As long as we keep individualizing ourselves, we're going to have the crime that we have in our city. We have to come together as one community like all these other safe suburban communities do. Across town on 10th Avenue, Wylam, police say a young man and woman were found dead with gunshot wounds in a car in front of an abandoned house. Birmingham police believe this to be the couple reported missing on Valentine's Day after they left to go see a movie and didn't come back. Birmingham Police Chief Scott Thurman says a day like this is disturbing to law enforcement officers as they try to provide a safer city for those who live and visit. It's really disgusting that these things continue to happen in our city over and over again. And people have got to learn other ways to resolve their conflicts or resolute or and come to some kind of resolution other than just resorting to gunfire. Earlier this evening, Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin posted on Facebook saying that his cousin was one of the six victims of gun violence today. He says in part, quote, right now, I'm not thinking about myself. I'm thinking about that employee's family who now has an empty chair at the dinner table. I'm thinking about my cousin's mother. I'm thinking about the other four families who are facing the unimaginable right now. Both Mayor Woodfin and Birmingham police are asking anyone with any information that could help solve these cases to call Crime Stoppers, that number 205-254-7777. Reporting live in Birmingham, Maddie McQueen, CBS 42 News. Now they said six, but we're going to say seven because we're going to count the baby as a life as well. As we wrap this video up, I want to say once again, rest in peace to all the victims. Prayers to the families. So many headlines. Seven people losing their life in 24 hours. One mother lost a son every year since 2021. A young mom, 20 years old, expected to be was gunned down. No arrests, not to mention one of the four people who was shot and gunned down was the cousin of the mayor. Sending prayers to Birmingham. Fam, I want to let you, family, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one.